Hello and welcome to Wonder of Learning Channel. Today we'll be taking a look at a history moment on the life and times of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Dr. Martin Luther King was a pivotal figure in American history. He's known for his leadership in the civil rights movements in the 1950s and 60s. His tireless efforts to end racial segregation and discrimination transformed the United States and inspired countless individuals around the world. This biography delves into the life of the man who became a beacon of hope for millions, leaving behind a legacy that continues to shape the course of history. Martin Luther King Jr. was born on January 15, 1929, in the city of Atlanta, Georgia. He was born into the middle-class family of his parents, Martin Luther King Sr. and Alberta Williams King. His parents instilled in him a strong sense of faith, family, values, and social justice. From a young age, Martin exhibited exceptional intelligence and a deep commitment to helping others. After graduating from Booker T. Washington High School at the age of 15, can you imagine graduating high school at 15 years old and heading to college? Very impressive. Martin attended Morehouse College, where he excelled both academically and in his extracurricular activities. He was a member of the debate team, the Glee Club, the Minister's Union, and the YMCA basketball team. He earned a bachelor degree in sociology from Morehouse College. Since Dr. Martin Luther King Sr. was a minister, the younger Martin did not plan to go into ministry but later changed his mind after taking a Bible class his junior year. He decided that he too would go into ministry while he went on to study theology at Crozer Theological Seminary in Pennsylvania, where he earned a second bachelor degree in theology. In 1954, at the age of 25, Martin Luther King Jr. earned his Ph.D. in Systematic Theology from Boston University. Thereby, he became known as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. During his time at college, King became deeply influenced by the teachings of Mahatma Gandhi and his philosophy on nonviolent resistance. This profoundly changed Dr. King's approach to activism and his belief in the power of love and peaceful protest as catalysts for social change. If you look on the world map, Mahatma Gandhi lived and worked in India, and Dr. King lived and worked in the United States. Though the two men never got a chance to meet in person, Dr. King learned about Gandhi through his writings and a trip to India in 1959. He drew heavily on the Gandhian idea of nonviolence in his own activism. In 1955, King's leadership abilities were thrust into the national spotlight when he led the Montgomery bus boycott sparked by Rosa Parks' refusal to give up her seat on a segregated bus. The boycott lasted for 381 days, which was about one year and a month. It marked a significant victory for the Civil Rights Movement, culminating in a Supreme Court ruling that declared segregation on public buses was unconstitutional. In 1957, Dr. King co-founded the Southern Christian Leadership Conference an organization dedicated to advancing civil rights through nonviolent protest. As president of the SCLC, King orchestrated numerous campaigns, including the Birmingham Campaign, which exposed the brutality of segregationists and led to the passage of the Civil Rights Act in 1964. One of the most iconic moments in Dr. King's life came on August 28, 1963, during the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom. Standing on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial, Dr. King delivered his famous I Have a Dream speech, 
a passionate call for the end of racism and equality for all. During his speech, he said, I have a dream that my four children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. Martin Luther King Jr.'s tireless dedication to civil rights earned him numerous accolades, including the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964. Tragically, on April 4, 1968, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated at the Lorraine Motel in Memphis, Tennessee by a man named James Earl Ray. The hotel was later converted to a National Civil Rights Museum in 1991. Dr. King's headstone on his grave summed up his life's work for civil rights and freedom for all people through his life and legacy. The headstone reads, Free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, I'm free at last. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s legacy endures through his powerful speeches, his unwavering commitment to justice, and the significant legislative changes he inspired. We celebrate Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. through a federal holiday in the United States. His holiday is celebrated every year on the third Monday in January to honor the life and legacy of a civil rights leader. Rev. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., it's a day that celebrates the man who brought hope and healing to America. Thank you for learning with me today. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel and share us with your friends. We hope you'll join us again soon for another lesson on Wonder of Learning. Until then, bye-bye.